Let's talk about uh, is it time for Antoine Green to take uh, over for Jameson Williams as that next receiver up? We ain't seen him that much this season. I think he played a couple snaps with that. Um, I'm not completely ready to give up on Jameson Williams, but I do think, and I've already laid the plan down, which I kind of say uh, real quick what I think they should do. Um, but check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. They go live. We go live or drop video. Um, and I think what they should do is just throw Jameson Williams into the fire. You know, I'm talking about trust and practice habits. Just see what he got. Go out there. Put him an integral part of the game plan in there. Start him at wide receiver number two on the outside and see what happens. See what happened. You know, y'all playing him as a part-time player. I don't really think that's that's really going. That's really helping him. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, if he failed that test, then it's time to throw Antoine Green in there. If you're not gonna get nobody else, Khalif Raymond is what he is. He's a gadget, gidgy gadget type of guy, return type of guy. It ain't nobody he could rely on as a receiver. Let's just call it what it is. Josh Reynolds and St. Brown is solid, but that don't give you much depth. Sam Laporte is solid. You know. But you need that game breaker out there. And if Jameson Williams can't catch the football, I mean, you did spin a uh, draft pick, let alone be in the seventh round draft pick, and you spent the roster spot on Antoine Green. So if you don't trust Jameson Williams or you don't want to make Jameson Williams a full-time receiver, you feel like he got to earn that and he may never earn that, then I feel like it's time to, uh, I think it's, I think at this point it's time to, uh, you know, give Antoine Green full time snaps. I mean, I mean, you giving Khalif Raymond, which is absolute. I mean, he's solid, but it's it's, it's not going nowhere. When you talk about potential to be a a, a, a a very detailed or very major part of a of, of an offense, he is what he is. So you need that guy that that can that can really you know provide a lot of athleticism right next to St. Brown, Sam Laporta, and Josh Reynolds. You need that burner. And if Jameson can't beat out, you know, Antoine Green, so be it. But damn, you know, you got these young guys on the roster. You playing all these veteran guys. Get the damn young guys a chance. You got them on the roster. And if Jameson and Antoine Green can't beat out a Khalif Raymond, that wide receiver, man, by the middle of the season, I don't know what to say. I don't think they deserve a spot on the roster. That's just my humble opinion on that, on it. But at this point, if you don't trust J-Mo, then you ain't going to go get nobody, then you got to let Antoine Green get something. I mean, look at Marvin Jones who's taking valuable reps away from Antoine Green. He was taking valuable reps away from Antoine Green. Green could have been getting those reps, and J-Mo could have been getting some of those reps, especially when J-Mo was out. Green could have been getting those reps, and, you know, could be more far along. They they thinking, oh man, who can help us now? Like, what about in the season when your depth starts to get chipped away at when you start to need to lean on more explosive players and more explosive, you know, you need that explosion. You gotta start, you know, leaning on those guys. You gonna start to need those guys instead of just throwing them in the deep end of the pool and you didn't ease them in. Practice is practice, it's not the real thing. It's not the real thing. So at some point, they got to pick a guy who they're going to give a major assignment to in the receiver room. They got If you want to go to practice squad and get Dylan Drummond or whatever it got to be, so be it. You know, and if it's coming down between Green and J-Mo, let the best man win, regardless of draft position, regardless of, of, of what you got invested, let the best guy win. If J-Mo can't beat out Raymond can't beat out Antoine Green, then he don't need to be on the roster. Let's 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 call it let's call a spade a spade. Let's call it a spade a spade. You know? And that's my opinion on it. You know? But you know, they, they gotta do something. You don't want to go spend draft compensation to compensation getting the getting all you know, these different parts that you need. You know, then got you got to count on the Jack Campbells. You got to count on hopefully James Houston come back. 
you got to count on, you know, hopefully Gardner Johnson coming. You got to count on getting healthy. Hopefully Allen's rookie can do something. Hopefully Pascal can say in, in, uh, healthy. But at this point, Jameson, Jameson or Antoine got to step. You know, they got to they got to play. They got to put them in there. They got an active roster spot. It ain't like you got nobody else ahead of them. Between Raymond and Marvin Jones not going, that don't make no sense why they shouldn't be playing the button. It don't make no sense. And then when you absolutely can't trade or can't pick nobody up, you're going to lean on them at the drop of a dime and say, well, you know, it's their job to be ready. Well, it was your job. You're taking reps away from from guys that are what they are. They're not going to be no, no more than what they are. So I felt like they should just throw one of them in the deep fire, if not both of them, on the deep end and see and see what come of it. And see what come of it. That's my thing about it. See what come of it. But, you know, they got their plans and, you know, whatever. They want to play it safe. They want to play reliable. That's the same thing I'm saying about Golden State. Instead of developing their young talent and, and them and, and going through the going through the bumps and the nicks and the, and the bruises, and then them getting through that, and then on the other end they becoming better players when you need them. They ain't want to go through that. The only way you can get better is by playing. That's it. Real live game reps. You know, that's the only way you're gonna get better. Only way. What? I don't want to do that. They don't want to develop nobody. But maybe they just simply not ready. If they're not ready, especially a, a first round draft pick with 13th overall pick, you jumped up to move up. And you could have just stayed there, got Christian Washington, could have waited to the second round, got Watson or got, you know, George Pickens and been done with it. Just saying, but hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Check out the Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, uh, not Google, just Spotify and Anchor. Um, other than that, check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. But I think as, as some one one of those guys, they got to pick and uh, you know they got to ride with if they're not gonna bring nobody else in. So peace.